Its winters is about piping hot curries and hot chocolate, and monsoons about steaming tea and pakoras. Then definitely summers is all about salads and kudas. Today, my yellow table has a summer spread and a menu that will definitely come in handy in summers wherever you are in the world. What's more, you might want to try it out no matter what the climate is outside. And my guest today has made this trip from the fashion runway to my yellow table. Hi Anand. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Welcome to my yellow table. Absolutely a pleasure. You know, whenever it's hot outside, there's something or the other like in form of good produce as a blessing. So I think if you eat right, if you keep yourself hydrated, I think it kind of helps. Absolutely. At least over here it does. Definitely it does. So moving on to today's menu. Indian melon summer salad. Bharma tinda with tomato sauce because tinda is what were you making that face of when I said tinda what happened? Why are you making me feed tinda? <laughs> Trust me, I am a big fan of tinda, tori, loki, all of these vegetables. I just adore this. So chef, this is the three vegetables I completely hate. Let me see you convert me into a I, tinda, I'm, tori, loki, loki lover. I mean, it's it's very hard to convert someone from. I mean, up tinde na khane wale ko tinda khane wala bada mushkil. It's a difficult thing. But you know what? Why I appreciate them is because they're very light on the tongue, very very light, and they're full of a lot of water and moisture. Then, I'm up for a challenge. Done. <laughs> then mangoes. Summer ki baat kare mangoes has yes. to be there. So I'm gonna do amras ke alu. The matter ke as tukkad roti. So let's begin with bharma tinda with tomato sauce. Because you said you don't like it, so I'll make sure that you touch it and peel it. Can you? Can I murder it? No. Okay. So these tindas, so you know they've got these tiny little thorns, and a very rough skin sometimes. So all you need to do is just scrape it a little. All right. All right. Ah, uh, that's the last one. Oh, you're done already. Yes. Okay. All right. Now we're going to make a masala for them. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add some jeera. So we'll just pound it. All right. Just kind of crack it and split it. We we'll not make a powder of it. Yes. That's it. That's it. Now we're going to take some sauce. Sauce oh. goes very well with the uh, tinda. So Should we do the soft. same thing. Yeah. Just pound it. All right. Some mustard. So this will start jumping. So you'll have to be slow. Yeah. Well, you are a pro, dude. How do you do this? It's a natural talent. <laughs> awesome. Beautiful. Now I'm going to add some turmeric. Some kasuri methi powder, which is basically dried methi leaves. Going to add some coriander powder. I'm going to add amchur, which is dried mango powder. Lots of it. We haven't added chili, so I'm adding some chili powder. Then we're going to add some salt. And some black salt. We're just gonna mix this. All right, I have my spice mix ready. Now, I have my baking tray. Now, the black side, you pick it off, and which then goes down. Over here, gentle slits, just enough to expose the tinder inside, but don't cut it. So one. All right, so we've got the tindas. We have uh, slid them. Now I'm going to take some mustard oil. I'm just going to add a generous quantity of mustard oil here, and I'm going to add 
this masala to the mustard oil. All of it. Just mix it. So can we just, do you only have to use mustard oil or if you don't like the... No, no, you can always use any other oil, like a good olive oil. Mm -hmm. But I chose mustard oil because it's more classic. It has got this nice pungent flavor, mm -hmm. which it imparts to the otherwise very, very dull tinder. Okay. So we have this masala. I'm just gonna take a couple of garlic cloves. Just add it to the masala. And now I'm gonna just put a spoonful inside it. So I'll try one. Yeah, go ahead. And then I can take all the this credit is, for it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And there we go. Done. This goes in at about 170 degrees for roughly about 12 minutes. Oh. So first it'll get roasted, then it'll kind of get poached in oh. tomato. So it'll soak up a bit of tomato, which should be interesting. So let me put this in the oven. All right, we've got the tindas inside the oven. Mm -hmm. Up next is armrest candy. So we've got these boiled potatoes. So raw mango, just gonna cut it in dices. Just roughly chop them. For people like me who hate cutting and all, can we use a food processor? Definitely you can, definitely. This is a... I mean machines, I always believe, uh, uh, are there to help you. You should use as much as possible, but I'm just a little old fashioned. Uh, I like the good old knife, the cuts. I enjoy cutting. I'm good with compromising. <laughs> this is too much work. I need to show you speed then. Oh. Maybe I'm faster than the professor. And more accurate. Off. <laughs> All right. I will take a little bit of garlic. Can you give me some ginger? Now mango and ginger is a great flavor. I'm gonna add some oil. So some dry red chili. I'll take about two, just crack them a little. Add the dry red chili. Some mustard. Oh. Jeera. Methi dana. That's methi dana, right? Or I'm yes. cool. <laughs> we'll have some hing. A good quantity of ink. Smells really good. A little bit of water. Some ginger. Good quantity of ginger actually. The smashed garlic in. Alright, so I'm gonna add the raw mango. quickly add the masalas. Masalas will be turmeric to begin with, red chili powder, coriander powder, just a touch of water. Now I'm tossing in the potatoes. At the same time I'll add salt, some black salt. Alright, uh, some curry patta. Yeah. Now the next step, I'm gonna add some mango juice. In it goes. So how much juice have you added? Half of it. Yeah, so it all depends upon how sour your raw mangoes are. Okay. Really, so that is the uh, benchmark. So just to make it sweeter, we're adding this. Yeah. So this is gonna take about another two minutes. Meanwhile, let me check on the tindas.
All right. So they look a bit dry. So mm. I'm going to use the same oil. Just baste them a little. Okay. Give them the shine back. All right. So next part, I'm going to pour in some tomato juice. This is you go. So I'm just going to pour in and cover the entire tray with this nice tomato juice. This calls for a selfie moment, actually. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna put this back into the oven. I'm going to crank up the heat now. I'm going to take it to about 190 because the uh, tinda is already cooked. What we need is the curry to just thicken up and because there is enough masala and salt from the tinda that poured onto the tray, I have a feeling the curry should be good. So if I get a very thick curry or a masala, just like a tomato paste at the end, I'll be very happy. I don't need a flowy curry. Okay. All right, so the ambra salu is ready. Time to plate it. Got a nice. Oh, it's good. You want to describe the taste for me? Mm. How do I explain this? I have no words to actually describe it. It's sweet, sour. It has this pungent flavor at the back. Mm -hmm. Wow. Moving on. You know this yellow table? The story is that it's like a small little table, but it's like a dining table. And dining table is all about uh, not trying to show off. On food, it's all about taste. And Indian food is all about taste. Absolutely. I've given a little bit of twist here, but the intent is to sit there, hang around the table, just like old times, and uh, have conversations, bond over food, so I don't really garnish my food. So this goes on to the table. Thank you so much. We have done the Amras Kyalu. The Tindas is about five minutes away. So you go take a short break and come back at my yellow day.